This is your stimulus check, second stimulus check, stimulus package, COVID-19, and news update for Thursday, September 24th. My name is Teresa Von Regan, and welcome. Comment below with what your name is and where you're from. I'd love to see what states and countries are being represented. These updates are designed to save you time and hassle and give you nonpartisan news. If you are not yet subscribed, consider supporting me, a woman in a man's world. I appreciate stimulus news from the gentleman, but I'd like to see a female presence. Hashtag girl power. There's a lot going on in government and we are only 40 days away from the presidential election, seven days from the government shutdown, and we're awaiting President Trump's announcement of the Supreme Court justice nomination, probably by tomorrow or Saturday. If you wanna learn how a justice is picked and what legislation is geared of being overturned by the court, check out this video. Stimulus negotiations are heating up again. Steven Mnuchin, Treasury Secretary, and Jerome Powell, Federal Reserve Chairman, both told Congress yesterday that more money is needed to stabilize the economy. With all of the crazy continuing, I thought I'd lighten things up with a joke. Politics is the art of looking for trouble, finding it, misdiagnosing it, and then misapplying the wrong remedies. <whistles> Sound a little familiar to you? Before we move on, I have a gift for you. Get a free stock from Weeble, valued up to $1,400 when you deposit $100. Let me know what stock that you get in the comments below, and the Weeble link is in the description of this video. The Senate has still not voted on the bill to stop the government shutdown. The shutdown is only seven days away. The bill passed in the House, but it is waiting on a vote in the Senate and the heat is on in the Senate, and boy, are things heating up. And I'm gonna tell you about that in a minute. Tuesday, Chuck Schumer, Senate minor Minority Leader, invoked the two-hour rule, a measure that constrains the scheduling and duration of Senate committee meetings. Really, Chuck? Chuck, is this the right thing to do with all the committee meetings scheduled and the legislation that needs to be passed? The House passed the government shutdown bill, but it still needs to go through the Senate, and there's ever-pressing stimulus. Chuck, what, what are we doing? What's going on? CBS News reported the move was intended to retaliate against Republicans who have agreed to vote on confirming President Trump's nominee to fill the Supreme Court vacancy left by Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg's death. Under the rule, no Senate committee or subcommittee can meet after the Senate has been in session for two hours or after 2 p.m. The move threatened to delay a briefing on national security and confirmation hearing for acting Homeland Security Chad Wolf. However, late Tuesday night, a senior Democrat aide said the Democrats would not be invoking the two-hour rule Wednesday because they want the Senate Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions, the Health Committee, to be able to hold its hearing on the Trump administration's missteps in responding to COVID-19. Interesting. They would also like a long sought intelligence committee hearing to go forward. Who knew this two hour rule even existed? Pretty sneaky and slick, Mr. Chuck. Invoke the rule when you disagree, and then when you're in favor, turn it off. In a tweet on Tuesday, Intelligent Committee Chair Marco Rubio said, Schumer had a temper tantrum over the Supreme Court and had blocked a briefing with Bill Ivanina, the official leading the nation's election security efforts. Okay, enough about the chaos going on in the Senate. Let's talk about the drama in the House now. Who needs a reality TV show when you have Congress? If you're watching these crazy characters, Democrats and Republicans, you know I'm speaking hashtag truth. It's a joke how it appears based on Congress actions. They don't have the best interest of the people. Actions speak louder than words. Steve Mnuchin, Treasury Secretary, and Jer Jerome Powell, the Federal Reserve, both testified in Congress yesterday. Yesterday, C-SPAN reported Mnuchin and Powell testified before the House Financial Services Committee on the federal government's response to the coronavirus pandemic. The Treasury Secretary and the Federal Reserve Chair talked about the state of the economy, which they said was improving, but still required a lot of work. They discussed the impact of the Paycheck Protection Program on small businesses, as well as the historically low interest rates at which borrowers can secure loans. Secretary Mnuchin said the Trump administration was in favor of further relief legislation and sport supported 
additional direct support payments. He urged Democrats and Republicans to find bipartisan agreement on a bill. Surprise. Okay, Congress, you now have heard directly from top leaders that we need stimulus, including stimulus checks. So when will Congress get their act together? Comment below with what you think. And check out this video to see a timeline of when stimulus could pass. Remember, also on the table is the March to Common Grounds Act, and check out more details about this bill in this video. The March to Common Grounds Act was written by the Problem Solvers Caucus. This is a true bipartisan bill. The Problem Solvers Caucus is made up of 25 Democrats and 25 Republicans. They have a bill proposed that is 1.5 billion and could increase to 1.9 million. The bill has two stimulus checks written in, one for soon and then another for March of 2021. There's a growing group of Democrats in the House who are considering signing off on a smaller PPP legislation. This could be possible if enough Democrats sign off. To give perspective, there are 198 Republicans in the House and to get legislation voted through, the House needs 218 votes. There are a lot of moderate Democrats in the House, so if 20 of them sway to the Republican smaller bill, we may see a bunch of smaller bills pass possibly including stimulus checks. What do you think will happen with this March to Common Grounds Act? Will it pass or will it be a bunch of smaller bills passed or will nothing pass? Comment below with your thoughts and don't forget to take the poll in the description of this video. I personally think this caucus is brilliant. It delights me that Congress is collaborating. I love collaboration of both parties. Collaboration enables a broader perspective better problem solving, and an opportunity for equal participation from both parties. I think Congress should take the bill that the Problem Solver Caucus came up with and use that as a baseline for negotiating stimulus. Comment below with what your thoughts are. I love this format and I believe this format of collaboration should be used in every bill. Maybe they should have a bill task force for all legislation. The task force should be comprised of equal Democrats, equal Republicans. This would help wasting time passing all these useless bills. New on COVID-19, Johnson & Johnson is in phase three of testing for a COVID-19 vaccine. And unlike their competition, their shot may not have to be frozen and may only require one shot instead of two shots. As of September 23rd, the US coronavirus cases are getting close to 7 million with deaths over 200,000. Cases of COVID have been trending up for 10 days. According to the CDC, the cases were close to 43,000 recently. With the bipartisan agreement, when it comes to the stimulus checks and now the bipartisan bill from the Problem Solvers Caucus, hopefully Congress can pass stimulus in the next two weeks is my guess. My opinion is still that someone is gonna give a stimulus before the election. And why? Well, let's be real. The whole stimulus scheme is about re-election. People who want to get reelected want to give money. And I believe sometime in October, we're going to get stimulus. Well, fam, this completes your second stimulus check, coronavirus, and news update for Thursday, September 24th. Please continue to tune in with a new news update and more on stimulus later this week. And if you want streamlined, nonpartisan news that saves you time, don't forget to like, smash that subscribe, and download that free gift with the Weeble mobile app below and get your stocks valued up to $1,400. Bye for now, fam.